couple weeks ago, my friends and I took a spontaneous road trip to Yosemite. Our only plan was to have no plan. What followed was an experience that gave me memories I'll never forget. The sun had just set and we were so exhausted. We had spent the whole night before driving to Yosemite. We only got like an hour and a half of sleep. And then we stayed up and spent the whole entire next day shooting. And then the sun set and we were walking back up to our car, just excited to get some food and go to sleep because we were all just so beat. And as we were packing up the car, this guy comes running down to our car and he's like all frantic and he's like, man, can you guys help me out? I'm locked out of my RV. I can't get into it. And I think I left my keys in a cave when I was rappelling down a mountain. All right, so here's the deal. We were literally, it's late. What time is it? It's late. And we were literally just coming up to finish the day off. About to go grab dinner because we're freaking starving. Dying. Long, sudden, long day. This guy comes up out of nowhere. Well, we like, saw him. He's like ran down the hill. He was like in a rush. Yeah. He was rappelling down a mountain and he lost his keys oh, in no, a cave. He left, he, no, he left his keys on some like ridge and he has to propel down in the pitch dark to get them. And Yosemite's like, if he was by, if we weren't here, we were the only car here. If we weren't here, he'd be like, because there's yeah. no food. It just got real He's dark. locked out of his, so we're like, oh shit. Like we were just tired and ready to like, you know, go to sleep and then now this guy, we gotta help him out. But of course we're like, yeah man, we'll help you out. No worries. Yo brother. <laughs> Hey man, I'm John. How you doing? Going through some shit today, huh? We're gonna go get them though. We're gonna find these keys and we're gonna all, right, be all man. good. Hell yeah. They're down there somewhere, bro. So he's like, we have to hike about an hour down to this mountain. So we're like, all right, let's do it. It was dark out. We had a couple of flashlights and we hiked down this mountain. It took about an hour to get down there and we get to the edge of this cliff and it's just pitch black. So we made it down. Next move is what? Rappel down in the dark to get your keys, right? Gotta go down to the Little heck, is this your first time repelling in like the pitch black? Not, not uh, first time, but uh, it's never a fun time. Yeah. <laughs> it helps when there's three people here with you though, right? But uh, no, man, this is cool. We go slow, we do it safe. Oh yeah. yeah. It's, uh, down, coming right back up. It's a little gnarly coming up this overhang right here. So if you're gonna run, don't panic. Keep a light on up here so I can see what, where the top is. So he repels down, he gets into the cave, and we just hear him yell up that the keys aren't in there. So we're like, shit, where could they be? So he climbs back up, and we're trying to figure out where else he could have left them, and we're just brainstorming over where they could possibly be. And as we're talking about that, my friend Monty opened up the guy's backpack to just look for him in there. And it turns out that his keys were in his backpack on his back the whole time. Yeah, brother! <laughs> <laughs> so what happened is he climbed down, they weren't even down there, and then we, were, we yeah. came back up and they were in the pack the whole time. <laughs> Put them in a weird place. Something I've never wanted to do, too. Yeah. Bro, sick. Glad we figured it out, oh though. Oh my god, that's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> so we were stoked to find them. I mean, it was, it was pretty funny that we hiked that far. The hike was actually pretty gnarly and our, our flashlights were starting to die, so we were like, we should get back up to the car now. So it took about an hour and a half to hike back up to the cars and almost all of our flashlights died. So we hiked back up, we get back to the cars, and um, he tried to offer us money. He was like, how can I repay you guys? Please let me give you money. And we were like, no man, don't worry about it. 
And as we're gonna leave, Brendan goes, you know what we could use is some food because all the restaurants in Yosemite were closed and we hadn't eaten. So he invited us into the RV, sat us down and just took care of us, made us a whole meal, chili and cheese, and he ended up being the coolest guy ever. All right, so this is how we're ending it off in the <laughs> RV. He's making us dinner. That's our that's our payment for helping the man out, dude. My heroes, bro. He's a legend. <laughs> Chili and cheese. Hell yeah, bro.